everybody, Erica Sterwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. This week I'm featuring the Pretty Birds bundle on my blog and I've got a new card for you. Let me show you the bundle, here it is. Lots of fun two-step stamping as well as coordinating dies. I am also using the Charming Sentiments bundle. This doesn't have any words, so I pulled in the hay there. Um, this is a great bundle, as you'll see, we can die cut the words with the matching dies. All right, well, let's get started. Let's do our stamping first. We're going to stamp our bird on basic white uh, with memento. Now this is two step stamping. So actually this is three step stamping because we've got three different, um, three different stamps to use here. All right, I'm gonna put him right about there and pick him up. This is my uh, stamp apparatus and it helps you get your stamps lined up pretty good. It's a lot easier than trying to do it freehand. All right, memento first. And then we'll take that off and we'll get the fill-in dies. Here's one. This one's gonna go like that. We'll do that one second. Um, I wanna take the darker one, which I believe is this one. We're gonna do this one first. All right, now I have to pull it down. Whoops, did I bump the camera? I think I did. I'm gonna pull it down because you really have to get above it to get it perfectly lined up. Let's see, over just a bit. And then it sticks to your fingers, so sometimes it takes a little while. All right, pick it up. And I'm gonna use Pale Papaya. If you're wondering what color these parakeets come in, all you have to do is Google it. There are a lot of images. Um, I chose kind of an orange color for mine. All right, now we're gonna take the top piece and again, wiggle it. You wanna match the bottom and the top. And this one's got, whoops, this one's got the beak. So you can check on that too. Now this time we want this part to be lighter. So we're gonna do what we call stamping off. I'm gonna get a piece of extra paper and I'm gonna stamp it off first onto this paper. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick it up and lay it down so it'll be nice and light. It won't be the same color. All right, and there you've got a two-toned bird. I'm gonna use my um, peekaboo, or um, <laughs> I always call it that. This is actually um, petal pink for his beak. Okay, right there. Oh, and then let's do his feet too. All right, so we've got that done. Let's do, you know, while we've got this here, let's also stamp our sentiment, which we're gonna use the hay there, right here. Okay, and we're gonna stamp that in soft succulent. And there we go. Okay, let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. And we're gonna cut these out. We're also gonna cut a ring for our bird to sit on. And we're gonna cut um, some feathers from um, uh, soft sea foam. So let's put that down here. I'm using the two largest stylus shape dies. Um, to cut the ring that he's gonna sit on. And then I'll grab two of our feather dies. Ahead of time, I have cut out two of these palms from the palm dies, mint macaron and soft succulent. Um, now let's grab our bird, our bird die, and put that right there. And then we'll get the hay there die, which is right here. All right, now one thing that I like to do with dies that are so, they have to be exactly in the right spot, is I like to take a little bit of post-it tape 
and stick it down. That way it's not gonna slip when I run it through. This one specifically really needs, these word dies are very close. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's try it out. Looks like maybe my circles have slipped a little bit. Our feathers we don't have to worry about. There we go. All right, we're gonna run that through. And let's see how we did. Our feathers are still stuck to the plate over here. So let's pop these out. Perfect bird and perfect hay there. All right, now we'll get out the ring. You can save that circle for later. You're not gonna need it, but you can use it another time. And then our feathers are stuck down here. All right, for our rectangles, I've got the Fern 3D embossing folder, and we're gonna put all three of them in here. And you want to have the, fa the side that's gonna be facing up, facing the side with the logo. That's the side where the images will pop up. The other side, they'll pop down, which you can use that side too, if you like that. Sometimes I use, I use the deboss side instead of the emboss side. Okay, let's put our card together. I've got a basic white card base, and I'm gonna stick these on um, offset a little bit. We're gonna cut off the edges, okay? So like that. And I'm not gonna push that adhesive in yet um, because I wanna make sure I get them nice and aligned. I'm just gonna kind of set it down there. And I'll put that one right there. And that looks pretty good to me. Equal spacing, everything is straight. All right, now I'll push that down. And you can take your scissors or your trimmer and just cut off those edges like that. All right, grab your ring, and I'm gonna use my foam adhesive strips. I'm just gonna kind of thread that around the circle like that. Try to get all the way around, and then we're not making a shaker, so it doesn't have to meet up. You don't even have to do the whole circle if you don't want. I'm gonna take this backing off and set this kind of offset there. Now we're gonna take these two fern pieces and we're gonna adhere them, whoops, that's a lot of glue, with some liquid glue, not too much. Probably not as much as I used. All right, and I'm gonna take my bird and I'm gonna put a um, dimensional right here and have her kind of sitting like that. So the dimensional is right there, all right? And now we can take our little feathers that we cut out, put a little bit of glue on those and tuck those in as well. You know, I think I'm gonna move her down just a little bit so that she is perching on that circle. There we go. All right. All right, let's take our sentiment and we want it to be right there, kind of even with our bird. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue right here and adhere that right there. All right, now while that is drying, let's cut out our chain and bell, but I wanna put um, an adhesive sheet on the back of my silver foil. That way it'll turn into a sticker and it'll just be super easy for us to adhere. So we're gonna do, let's see, the chain right there and our little bell right there. Okay, let's move that out of the way and bring over our cut and emboss machine. We need to move out of our, go back to plates two and three. Yes, we should have probably done this when we did all of our cutting, but 
I forgot. That's all right. All right, now to get the adhesive off, I recommend taking your, take your pick tool and just kind of starting it in one of the, on one of the ends, there we go. All right, and we'll put that there. It's gonna to be too long for a card, so we're gonna to wanna to snip that right there. And then the bell, let's get the bell out. And again, we'll get that adhesive off. And we'll put that right up here. All right, last but not least, let's add some embellishments. We've got these beautiful new iridescent uh, basic jewels. And I'm gonna use my the putty end on my take your pick tool. And I'm just gonna kind of add a few around our bird. And I think that's good. All right, there you have it. Now you guys make sure you hop back to my blog. There is a free PDF that has all the um, supplies and measurements that you'll need as well as two other pretty bird projects. I hope you enjoyed this and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.